call is now being recorded. And also, the link is at our most important point. <clears throat> here also, he has not given uh, much thing in your syllabus. Just he has introduced some of the basic and uh, some two, two types of methods how to determine the levels okay, for uh, different uh, positions. So, actually, the thing is that a plane table is one unit and the leveling is one unit. But here, what he has done is that chapter 2. He included these both things. Okay. Actually, it is a separate unit and this is also a separate unit. Most important thing, but uh, we have to know with the respect to the syllabus. So, we will see according to the syllabus whatever is there, and I will try to explain apart from the syllabus also. Because uh, on credit is very important thing to know. So, first we will go for the plane table surveying. Before going to that one, see this one is the plane table, okay, uh, over which we will keep the drawing sheet, okay, and uh, we will cite and we will plot at the time. Okay. Plotting and setting is done at the time in the plane table survey. This is the entire setup, the plane table survey, and we will uh, see the each part and everything. What is the use of tripod, board, uh, alidide, of compass. So we are going to the very first thing is that basic of plane table survey. Plane table survey is a graphical method. Okay, it is not a metrical method. It is a graphical method of surveying in which field observation and plotting are done simultaneously. That is, sighting and plotting are done simultaneously. It is a simple and cheaper, cheaper than the theodolite survey. Okay, we will see about the light in the next unit that is unit number two. It is most suitable for small scale mapping. Why we use plane table? Plane table is nothing but we use we use to draw the map of the plot or any area, whatever it may be. So we use the plane table survey. And it is most suitable for small scale mapping. Plane is drawn by the surveyor in the field, okay, while the area to be surveyed is before his eyes. We shall have said that plotting and for sighting and plotting is done simultaneously. So whatever he see before his eyes, he will draw it. Therefore, there is no possibility of vomiting the necessary measurement. Okay. So the one thing is that <coughs> nowadays what they will do. Um, they are not using the plane table. They will go to the side and uh, see this is my area. Okay. Now in urgency, what we will do? We will take the length of this one and we will take the length of this one. This height is a four meter, but we won't take this one. This two length for an example, I'm saying. So when you come to the office and when you sit for the drawing, so you don't have the measurement of these two sides. Okay. So but in in case of plane table, it does not happen because you are drawing the exact area of the plot in the drawing sheet. So here you need all the measurement and you are taking the measurement of all necessary things. Okay? Therefore, here there is no chances of vomiting any measurement. So here equipment and accessories of for the plane table. So the main three things are plane table, tripod, and alidite. If this is the plane table, okay. Then below one you can see this is a tripod, and here this one you can see this is a alidite. Another, another accessories are rough compass, it's nothing but a rough compass, okay, which will be having a high degree. Spirit level will be there, that is nothing but a bubble, okay, to keep the table horizontal. With the help of street level or a bubble tube, we will keep the this plane table perfectly horizontal. Okay, you work with plumb board okay. for this one centering. We will use waterproof cover, drawing papers, pins, and drawing accessories. Okay. So we will go one by one. 
first one is plain table this is my table the upper one what you see is the plain table the drawing are written called as a drawing board the drawing board for a plain table is made from well seasoned wood it will be a well seasoned wood with upper surface exactly flat okay. i think that we can say we are using a plywood okay plywood it is normally rectangular in shape and the size will be most important for mcq 75 by 75 by 60 cm Terms of centimeter, or if you want to remember in terms of mm, seven fifty by six hundred mm. It is mounted on the tripod. So here we can see it is mounted on the tripod. And clamps are provided to fix it in any direction. The table can be pivoted about its vertical axis and can be clamped in any position whenever necessary. Okay. If I draw the plan. You are seeing it from the top view. Okay, I am showing you the top view. Okay, this is my center of the <coughs> table. See, you are seeing the plain table from the top. Okay, this table can be rotated in any direction, in 360 direction, about the vertical axis. Okay, if I draw the front elevation, okay, this is my vertical axis. This can be rotated in any direction. So this is the way. So here you can see this is your plane table. This is 600 mm. This is 750 mm. Now we can write in terms of centimeter also. 75 centimeter plus 60 centimeter. Okay. This is the top one, top side. And this is the bottom. Here you can see this is a plank. Okay, where you attach it to the tripod. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> tripod will be fixed. Okay. Here we have a plank system. So we will attach it to the <coughs> tripod. Okay. This is the bottom. This is the top of the plank. Here you can see. Plane table with a tripod. You know what is the use of tripod? Already we use tripod in the compass surveying. Okay. Plane table is mounted on the tripod. Tripod is generally of open frame type, combined rigid, rigid behind with lightness. The tripod may be to hold for the convenience of the transportation. Tripod is provided with two screws at its Top four level in the plane table. Here we have some screws, okay, to adjust it. Okay. To adjust the height, we can increase or we can decrease the height. Here we can see the five points. These are different heights. Okay, you, with the help of the clamps, okay, you can adjust it. And it will depend upon your height, okay, respect to your height. Next one is alidide. Alidide is nothing. Alidide is nothing but here we can have see the scale okay. and range. Okay. This is I way and this is object way. Object way will be having different parts here. So, alidide is useful for establishing the line of sight. What you are doing? We want to focus this. This is my station A. This is my station B. Okay, I have kept my plane table here. So, what I will do? In compass, if I draw the compass like this, this is my I way, and this was object way. Okay, we were seeing through. Here and we were sighting the object. Here also, what we are doing, we are keeping the alidite here, or you can call it a scale. 
this is my event, this is my object file. So this we will cite. Okay. After that, what we will do? We will draw the line, straight line. <coughs> Useful for establishing a line of sight. Okay. Next one. Two types of alidide are used. One is simple alidide, this one is a simple alidide, and another one is a telescopic alidide. What is simple alidide? It is used for ordinary works okay. and when the range of sighting is very small, okay, we are measuring the near or one. Telescope it is used to uh, range the uh, larger distance. Okay. It is generally consists of a gun metal or wooden ruler. It will have shown this is your wooden scale or metal scale. Metal or wooden tool with the two vertical veins at the ends. Okay, one is eye vein, another one is object vein. <coughs> the eye vein is provided with the narrow slit, okay, while the object vein is open and carries a coarse hair. Both the slits thus uh, provides a definite line of sight which can be made to pass through the object. To be selected. Okay, once you see the videos that I have sent you for with respect to sorry, for the compass, okay, there you have seen what is eye and object vein. Okay, you can see this is a simple alloy. Okay. This is gun metal. Eye Object way. This is good and one. Okay. To draw the rays means that a straight line. One of the uh, one of the heads of the LED is bevel uh, and it is perfectly smooth working edge is known as the pedogi edge. Okay. This edge we will use and we use for the drawing the straight line. It is graduated with the number okay. that is one centimeter, two centimeter. Okay. It is graduated to isolate the plotting of the distance to the scale. When, when you come to the telescopic alidide, telescope alidide is used when it is required to take the inclined slides. Okay. If you want to take some inclined slides also. In simple alidide, you are taking the Straight one, but in telescopic, we are using for the long range and also for the inclined one. Here we have some theta, but here the theta value will be zero. It is essentially consists of a small telescope with a level tube and graduated arc mounted on the horizontal axis. It gives higher accuracy and more range of sight. These two things are important for longer range and for higher accuracy and inclined sight. Okay. We are using the <coughs> this, uh, this particular type. So you can see this is the telescope. Here you can see the scales with respect to angle from here we will come, come to know the angles. Here it is fitted with the tube or spirit level or bubble tube okay, to make it a completely horizontal. Next one we know that compass okay, is nothing but a compass. The so compass is required for drawing the line through magnetic meridian on the paper. So, when you place the plane <coughs> table okay, and you keep the drawing paper on it. Okay. So, before starting any drawing, what you should do is you should take the reading or marking of the northern point. 
So what you should do, you should keep the compass over the plane, and where it is located in the north, that head, you should what you do, you should draw the line, and you should mark it as a north. The compass is required for drawing the line showing the magnetic meridian on the table. It is used to orient the table to the magnetic meridian. When it is suspended needle, shows zero degree. Okay. When it shows zero degree, it is nothing but the northern direction at the each end. A line is drawn on the drawing paper representing the magnetic arm. So this is a top compass. Here we have zero, and here also it is zero. Okay. What you should do? And one side it will be red in color. Red color. Indicates the northern direction. So what you should do? You should slowly tilt this side or this side such that the needle will be pointing towards the zero degree and zero degree. Okay. So after that, what you should do? With the help of this compass, you should draw a line. You should not uh, remove the compass. Okay. At the edge of the compass, here you can see. At the edge of the compass, it will be very sharp. So can use it like a scale or a ruler. So what you should you should draw a line and you should write the northern direction. Then what is the use of street level? Michelle, I have said in the compass survey. Again, the thing is that see here you can see the bubble. Okay, it should be always to the center, which indicates your plane table is perfectly horizontal. The street level is used for ascertaining if the plane table is properly level, whether it is level or not. The plane table is level by placing the level on the board in two position at right angles and getting the bubble center in the both the positions. So the thing is that I will share the video also how to set up the plane table. So when we keep the plane table. This is my plane table. Okay. This is my plane table. And uh, remember one thing: leveling is common for all the type of uh, surveying. Okay, whether it is compass surveying, road light surveying, dumpy level, or uh, water level, whatever it may be. The uh, thing is, leveling is common for everything. The thing is that the bubble should be at the center. So initially, this is a plane table. Okay. So when you keep, you should keep the compass at the two right angles. Okay. Once you should keep here, and once you should keep here, okay. right angles, or you can keep it here, keep it here. So when you keep it here, I will call this one as position here. When you keep if that position is, it means the bubble may come at this point. So what you should do, with the help of the adjustment or with the help of the leg, what you should do, you should make the plane table to come down here, okay, this side, with the help of the leg or with the help of the screws. So it will come a little bit downward. Then again, you should check whether it is perfectly horizontal or not. Until the bubble comes to the center, you should go on adjusting the uh, legs. Okay. At last, when you keep the bubble at any corner, here whether you keep it here, keep it here, 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 wherever, wherever you can keep it, the bubble will be always at this center. Okay. This is this one we call it as a perfect level. Here you can see the spirit levels. Okay. The bubble will be at this center. You put with plumb off. Okay. Here you can see this one and this one. This is called as U4 and this is called as a plumb off. 
second one is used for the centering centering of the uh, plane table diagram is there okay. see here this is my line okay not plane table this is not, not my line see here i have station a here i have station b here i have station c so first thing i will go for station a and uh, it will be it should be transferred to the paper or from paper to the ground Okay. The first thing what I am doing is that I am transferring from ground to the paper. Okay. So what I will do? I will set up my plane paper at station A. Okay. I will set up my plane table at station A, and I will mark. I will mark the station A with the help of this U four and number. I will mark it on the paper. I will mark it on the it's my drawing paper. Similarly, I will go to the station B, and uh, I will do centering. This is called also centering, also centering of the instrument. Means your instrument should be exactly below the station point. Okay, so above the station point. Similarly, what I will do? See, this is my station A. I will write here on the drawing paper station A and uh, station B, station C. This is the use of the U4 tent number. U4 tent number is used for centering purpose. Okay, the plane table over the point of station occupied by the plane table. When in C U, one more minute. This is my plane table. Here there is my sheet. Okay. Here I have station A and here I have station B. I can't take the center of this one. I should take both this one and this one. Okay, just remember that one. <clears throat> Centering for the table over the point or station occupied by the plane table when the plotted position of the points is already on the sheet. Okay? If you are transferring, uh, you have already have the A, B, C on your sheet. And you want to transfer this one to the ground, or from ground to this. The point is already on the sheet. Also, in the beginning of the work, it is used for transferring the ground points on the sheet, or vice versa. It can be transferred from the sheet to the ground, or from ground to the sheet. Okay. Water proof cover. The main purpose of this one is that the paper should not get wet. Or it should not be burned to the sunlight. <clears throat> An umbrella is used for protecting the drying paper from the rain. Okay. This is your drying paper. Then, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the plain paper? Advantages: the plain is drawn by surveyor himself. Okay. While the area to be sur surveyed is before his eyes. Whatever you do in the side, it is directly plotted by the surveyor on the paper. Therefore, there is no possibility of the vomiting any necessary measurements. Initially, I have said this one. The surveyor can compare the plotted work with the actual features of the area. Directly, he can compare in this side. It is simple and cheaper than the light. It is more suitable for small scale maps. No greater skill is required. To produce a satisfactory map and work, you be interested to the subordinate. It is useful in magnetic areas where compass may not be used. The mistake in writing field work are eliminated. These are the some advantages. Also, also. Then, what are the disadvantages? Instrument to having advantages in this case is obviously there will be some, some of the disadvantages. <coughs> so, 
you will see the disadvantages. It is not in great path, very accurate work. It is not suitable in monsoon due to rain. It is essentially a tropical instrument. Due to heaviness, it is inconvenient to transport. For instance, it is good for them. Since there is no uh, many accessories, they can uh, there is likelihood of being lost. Okay, these are some inner or disadvantages of this thing. Then we will go for the principles. Principles of plane table. The principle of plane table is parallelism. Thing is that we work with the parallel lines. Okay. If we are fighting one work, means we will draw a line parallel to this one. So we will call it as the parallelism. <coughs> you are standing at station A and sitting at station B. Correct. So if you you want to Draw that line. Sighting is converted into plotting. So what we are doing? We are drawing a straight line. So we will call it as a parallelism. Principle very important. So all the rays means rays is nothing but the sighting. All the rays drawn through the various details should pass through the service station. This from station A to the station. The position of link table at each station must be identical. That is, at each service station, the link table should be oriented in the direction of the magnetic north. Even from denoting the northern direction, also we orient the table. And one more thing in link table serving is that orientation is most important. So we must see the bus. So just remember the principle of the plane table is that all rays from the various regions should pass through the service stations. Here you can see how we call an station. Station. We are after plotting it will be station B, and here it is station C. And one more thing, so I'm giving a simple example to make you understand it. So this is my field one. Okay. Here I have station A. Here I have station B. Here I have station C. And say here I have station D. So I want to plot this one in the my drawing sheet. Okay. So instead of drawing the plane table, I'm going directly to the drawing sheet. So what I will do, first I will go to the station A. Okay. Say that I am standing at the station A. Okay, centering work I have done. Okay. I have transferred the site for station A to the station A paper. Okay. And before that one, what I will do, I will take the top compass. Even I will share the video also, don't get confused. If you understand, if you are able to understand, also no problem. But better, you know, you can understand. So I will share the video because without uh, the instrument, it is very hard to understand. So I will keep the top compass, okay? And what I will do, I will try to rotate my table in clockwise or anti clockwise. Say that I kept my top compass here, okay? And I have got the knot. The needle pointing towards the zero, which indicates the northern direction. So I have drawn the line and I have written north. So 
I have removed the first compass and I have mentioned the north of direction. Then what I will do? I will rotate my table and I will cite the station B. What I am doing? I am citing the station B. See, this is 10 meter. While I am setting the station B, what I will do? First, I will draw a line, continuous line. Okay. This is 10 meter. So, what I will do? I will convert to the scale, say 1 is to 100. Because I can't draw the 100 meter or 10 meter on the paper, right? I can draw the 10 meter here. So, what I will do? I will convert it into the scale. Say, I have got Station B. Then what I will do? I will take an entire setup, entire plane table, and I will go towards the station B. Okay. So orientation is there. I will tell you later, but I am giving some ideas. I will go to the station B. Then what I will do? I will cycle towards the C. Okay. From here, I will draw a red line. And I will convert into the scale. I have got the station C. Then I will go to the station C and I will cite the station C D. Okay. Then what I will do? I will draw a straight line. Here I have got D. Then I will draw A, B, C, D. Means I have got the plot side. The actual thing, what is there in the side, we have drawn from the paper. This is the main thing what we do in the paper of seven. I hope you understood that. After that, what we do? We will erase this thing. Extra lines, we will erase it. And it is left with the So this is my surveyed area. So method of setting up the plane table, again here le leveling, centering and orientation. Three things are there, you know what is leveling, you know what is centering and I'll explain what is centering. Leveling with the help of this credit table, I initially said it, just I will put it go through it. Leveling and centering, the plane table should be kept conveniently high, means with respect to your height. Okay, some may be, will be 5 feet, some will be 6 feet, okay, with convenient level. You should set up the track for height okay, for working on the board, say about one meter. The legs of the tripod should be spread well, means it should be spread well and turn into the ground. Next. The plane table should be placed. Plane table should be placed over the station, whether it be station A, B, C, D, whatever, on the ground at the point. Potted in the shape. Okay. It is already potted. As if you have already the shape corresponding to the station occupied, the excite over the station on the ground. Means it should be the plumb box should be pointing towards the station A only. This is your view code. Okay. This is my station A means it should be lying on the station A. The operation is known as centering. It is done by use fork and plumb box. For leveling, the table is orient, uh, ordinary uh, split level may be used. <coughs> the plane table is leveled by placing the level on the board in two positions at right angles and the bubble gets centered in the both the direction. Now, the important thing is orientation. The process by which position occupied by the board. <coughs> the process by which the position position occupied by the board at the various service stations are kept parallel because we are following the 
parallelism the main principle the position occupied by the board at the various service stations are kept in parallel is known as orientation just when the plane table is properly oriented the line on the board should be parallel to the line on the ground which they are represent there are two methods of orientation by magnetic needle or by back side needle okay back side needle is nothing but making from b to a if we go for magnetic needle initially like i said you in this method the magnet uh, the magnetic knot is drawn on the paper first what you do you will this is my drawing sheet you will orient it in the truck compass when we get to zero so we will draw a line correct the magnetic knot is drawn on the paper at a particular station at the next station the truck compass is placed along the magnetic oh, sorry along the line of magnetic knot and the taper is turned in such a way that the ends of the magnetic needle are opposite to the zero of the scale okay. means orientation is done Say this is your sheet. Okay. Is your A point, B point, C point, D point. Okay. So the first thing is that we can't directly rotate. Keep. See, I can't keep the table in this direction, or I can't keep the table in this direction, or in this direction. Okay. It should be oriented with respect to the north. You should draw whatever you are drawing. It should be oriented with respect to north. So, starting of the board, representing the northern side is very most important. Okay. And one more thing, when you actually do it on the own face, then only you will understand what is the use of orientation. Okay. Then the board is uh, then fixed in the position by the clamp. This method is inaccurate in the sense that the results are likely to be affected by the local attraction. You are placing the compass. Okay, if there are any electric pole due to electromagnetic radiations, it may be some fluctuations. Okay, so if there are not any uh, local attractions, means you can go for the magnetic needle orientation by magnetic needle. If not, you can go for the back side. You know what is cross side and back side. By back side, A will be our first station. A will be our second station. Suppose a line is drawn from the station A on paper as A B. See, uh, this is my station A, and this is my station B, and this is my paper. A line is drawn, and we will call it as a A B representing the line on the ground means our line of sight. This one. Okay. Suppose a line is drawn from the station A on the paper as small A B. Okay, it's a capital A B no problem. Representing the station A B with the ground. The table is turned until the line of turned until the line of sight bisects the ranging rod at A. The board is then clamped in this position. Yes. In station B, what you do? You just take the back side until you see the station A or the ranging rod placed at the station A. This method is better than the previous one, and it gives the perfect orientation. Okay. See, it is very hard. A B C is there. This is my drawing board. Here yeah, this is station A, this is station B, this is station C. Okay. So, 
what I will do. First thing I will draw the northern direction. I can draw it in any corner. So I have marked the station. I have the station A here. Station A. What I will do with the help of the allied I will cite the station B. That is the ranging rod placed at this point. So what I will do, I will draw a line. Then I will convert it to the scale. So I have got the and B. Okay. Then the work is done. Either you can drop the remaining line. So, okay. Then what you should do? You should take this table, okay, like that only, and you should place it here. I will draw two diagrams. First one as it is. So not as it is. Now I want to set the station of this one. I want to set the station beneath. Drawing the plane table like this here. You should not directly set towards the station C. First thing what you should do, you should take the back side of the station A. Means to take the plane table. This is my A, this is my B. We have already drawn the A B. You should Keep our allied diet along this line. Okay. You should keep our allied diet along this line. Okay. And we should cite the station A. Okay. Now, when after citing the station A, you should be and see. You are standing at B, seeing that station A, your allied diet and your line. On the paper, it should be in the same way, means it should be touched here. Okay, your scale should be touched here, and you are saying the range in order to after setting, you should not turn your play table to keep it like that only. Okay, means it is like this. Then you should set towards the stations after making orientation, you should not turn your play table. If it is me or mine. Okay. Then only we will get the actual diagram of the plane table, that means of the area present on the ground. See, this is my correct position. Okay. After back, uh, doing that side, I should, if I draw the, if I keep this one as a, like this means, again it will be the wrong one. So, after doing back side, we should not turn to a plane table. Here you can see this one. This one is your LED. Okay, here we have the highway and object. Okay. This one is your truck compass, this one is your spirit level, and this one is your U4. Okay. This is your tripod.
here on your plane table you have kept the sequence okay. you can use the pin or you can use the uh, or sort of any tapes such that the paper will not be disturbed until you complete the diagram okay. once you, you fix the paper you should not remove until you complete your uh, work okay. so, the first thing is that Take the truck, validate, truck compass, low port, spirit level, and this is your spirit level. Okay, this is your column box for the centering purpose. This is the marking of the center of the station. Here you can see they have kept three points. This one at the home side. Spirit level, the sentence should be done. You can see it is not center. Okay, spirit level is not at the center. After centering, I think they have already centered it. Okay, after centering, you should check uh, at all the corners. Okay. You can get the right angles. This is your tripod. For you for what you do, you just attach the uh, plumb bob. Okay. The U upper part will be uh, will be on the table, and another portion it will be below the table. Okay. You can see they are doing central work. Mm -hmm. And extend the length of head uh, also. Okay. When it is now, it is transferring from field to paper. Okay, you are transferred station from field to the paper. Better keep your mobile in landscape mode. This one marking the north is very most important in any of the survey. Okay. See here, you can see they are slightly rotating it such that the needle is pointing towards the zero. We have graduations here up to five degrees. When you come at the center, then you should draw a line. Here you can see northern, northern direction and southern direction. Draw a north pointing one at the any corner of your paper. Okay. The first thing is that the needle should be pointing towards the northern perfectly. The reading should be, you can use any of the compass. Okay. Then you can use your mobile also, no problem. Yeah. 
the needle is disturbed here a lot. So, and here we don't have any break pin okay, to cause the oscillation. So, after uh, getting the northern direction, what you should do? If you hold that compound, you should draw a straight line. They have drawn the north. They have drawn the north. Northern direction. Yeah, this is the other diet. We can take 30 centimeters here. We have object wind. Here you can see this is the highway and this is the object wind. Object wind will having the this horse uh, here. Okay, from here you will see and here you will cite it. From this end, you should see a small ship goes to the highway. Then you should draw a straight line. After our sighting, you should draw a line. Then citing another from the same station in you can set another station also station b station c Yeah, this one is there. Prediction and the method of prediction, method of intersection is there. Both are most important things. But so what I will do is that let me explain you. Let me do some ideas. Then I will show you the video. Radiation is there. Perception is there. Perception is there. Okay. So quickly we will see this one and we will go through the videos. <coughs> okay. The method of uh, length levels. So there are four distance methods. So you still have this. Uh, Of radiations, intersection, traversing, and recession. Okay. Traversing is most important. Radiation is also most important. So, method of radiation and radiation methods. Okay. <coughs> In radiation method of plane tables are done, the direction of the object or points to be located or obtained by drawing radial lines. Along the 
individual edge of the alidide after getting the objects or points bisected along the line of the side. For example, this is your plane table. This is my station plane. I'm going to use the word for like this. Okay. In a radial base. We are setting this one. Uh, object of points to be located or obtained by drawing radial lines along the initial edge of the elevator for getting the object or point by second along the line of sight of the elevator. The horizontal distance are then measured and scaled off on the corresponding lines to mark their positions on the drawing. First of all, we will bisect station A. Yeah. Then we will take the measurement, then what we will, will convert it into the scale. This is a radiation method. So, squeeze the station on the ground from the object A. Okay. The plate table is set up over the station B. Okay. The drawing is fixed on the plate table. It is then levered and centered. Okay. A point B is selected on the sheet to represent the station B. Centering, leveling, everything is done. Then north is marked. North line is marked on the right hand top corner. Okay. Of the street with a top compass or circular box. Touching P, arranging the rod at A, B, C, D. Okay, I have accepted and the phase was wrong. This is my station P. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D are arranged and our line is drawn. Then the distance between B, A, B, 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 C, D are measured and plotted by any suitable scale, other than 1, 200, 1, 50, 200. Of water and paper. You can see station P. From where I am setting station A, B, C, D. Okay. We will go for video for radiation. This is my center station of the P and I am bisecting ABCD. This P instrument is set up at P. This is my plane paper and I will uh, do centering and I will mark my station P on the drawing sheet. Yes, sir. I kept my alidad at the station B and I'm citing the station A. Then the water will draw a straight line on the paper. See. We are arranging all the sides. Then we will join DA 
A, B, B, C, C. A, B, C, D. We have a cut and half. After cutting and half, what we have done? We have just joined the thing. So this is what ready method. Anybody have any doubt in radiation method? Anybody have any doubt in radiation method? No, no sir. No, sir. The character will go for the intersection method here and now. We are also having four stations, station A, B, C, D. Second method, one thing is that in this method, uh, it is useful where it is not possible to measure the distance from the ground. Okay, when you are not able to see radiation method, we are able to measure the distance between P to A, P to B, P to C, P to D. But in intersection method, so this is in the case that you are not able to measure the distance between the one station to another station. In that time, what we are doing, we are going for the intersection method. See, yeah. we are have four stations. Okay. First thing, what I will do, we take my plane to the station. Okay. Here, one more thing is that orientation is most important. Huh? Back sighting okay, is most important. See, I have kept my. Yeah, A, B, C, D is there. I will first quarter I will keep my plane table at station A. Okay. Then what I will do, I will slide to the station B and station D. Set up a set up table at A, level and it transfer the point A on the sheet by using plumb for flat the table. What you are doing? We are transferring the station E. Okay. Then what will you do? Keep the alidite, then you sight towards the station D. Then you can see the ranging rod. Okay. See he is sighting towards the station C. Now he is sighted station C, D and D. Okay. Then draw the lines. And what I want one thing is that I know the distance between A to B. Okay. I know the distance between A to B. It is 10 meters. Then what I will do? I will plot. I shift the table to B, orient the table roughly by compass, and finally by the back side. Now what I have done? I have shifted my table from a to B. Okay. After shifting my table, what I will do? I will orient it, taking okay. the back side. By okay. keeping the elevator at station B, what I have done is that I have cited the station C and station D. is so the plotting is done. The intersection, intersection method of plane table survey, the objects or points to be located are often at any point of the intersection of the radial lines drawn for the two different stations, that is station A and station B with respect to the figure. This method the plotting of the plane table stations are to be carried out accurately. Checking is most important because back sighting okay. and thus done by taking the third side from the other station that is back sighting can be done. Or we can just cross check it by 
shifting the another station to the station C. Here, what if we have done? We have shifted station A and B, but we can cross check it by shifting to another station C. So the intersection of the things is suitable when the distance of the objects are large or cannot be measured properly. Just the method is prepared in small scale survey and for the model of the initial step that when you are not able to take the distance from the station to the station, so we can use the right section method. Yeah. Suppose if I draw A, B, C, and B. Suppose A and B are the two stations, and T is the yeah. object of T far back of the river. Far back of the river. Now it is required to fix the position of T on this grid by intersection of the drawn from A and B. That means we are keeping this station planable at A and B. The table is set up at A. It is labeled center so that the point on the sheet is just over the station. The north is marked and the right hand top corner. The table is planned. With the help of the aldehyde, touching the object T and the ranging rod at T are bisected and the rays pass down. From here to here, there is a river. Okay. I can't measure it. So, this is my station T. I want to plot it on the graph. So, what I will do? I will keep it in station A. I will bisect the T, T, as you said, T, and I will also bisect the A. Okay. Then, what I will do? I will go to the station B. I will do orientation, taking back side. First, that it is in a straight line. Then, what I will do? I will bisect the T. It is bisected here. These are some intersection methods. Then we have traversing. We will show you the traversing also. With the traversing and decision method. So, this is a decision method. Let's see the video. Here we have these three stations A, B, C. Okay, let's see which stations to be located on the plane. And A and B are the two visible points, which can be uh, plotted on the sheet as A and B. Okay. This instrument at station. And oriented and by backsetting the right seal them. If the table is seen, center it approximately with respect to C1. If the letter on the line C1, then orient the table. By back side to A, then side to the station B. Then we have intersection with the last one.
videos. So we have four stations A, B, C, D. Keypad station Okay, two centering board. At the station A, sorry, B, for C, for a continuous line, C, okay, we have said it C, D, and B, okay, that's all that is, then shift to station B, do some orientations, is not there I just it Preceding station and four side, uh, four side to the following stations. From B to A. After that, you can take the other stations. Okay. Here, the distance are generally measured by tachometric method. Survey work can be performed with the grid of the methodology. Because A, B, C, D are the transfer stations that should be plotted on the paper. The table is set up at the station A. Set up at station A. A suitable point A is selected on the sheet in such a way that whole area may be plotted in the sheet. If the table is centered, wavered, clamp, northern is marked. With the help of halodite, that's simple. Touching point A. The ranging rod, the ranging rod at B is bisected okay, from A to B, it is bisected, and the ray is. Ray is from AB ray is from the distance between A and B is measured at any suitable scale. Okay. Here, first I have kept station A, then I have bisected B, measure the distance between A and B, then I have got the station B. Okay. From B, what I will do? I will see station C. And I will see station D. Okay. Then what I will do? Again, I will change my station. I will go to station C. Then I will bisect the station D. Then what I will do? I will go to the station D. Then I will bisect the station D. We are doing the traversing from one station to another station. It is then when you are not able to measure uh, maximum number of stations with respect to one station. Okay, then traversing is then the state from station A, the station is shifted to the station B, and 
bisecting is done okay now the table is shifted and centered over b it is then labeled everything is done and it is bisected to the c then what you will set up at station b and you will observe the station d okay the same thing is not done you can cross check it means a to b b to c is drawn a to b is drawn you can just directly close the line or you can just cross check this one also to check the accuracy of the plane table or the checks are taken by shift uh, citing back side to the some preceding station okay from b to a can do back citing or a to t can do back citing close error of closure okay for your level Section method for backsetting, compassing. We have seen it. Okay. Projection of the road in Mumbai. Three point problem is there. So two point problem is there. So two point problem is there. And the three point problem is there. So I guess the interval has been completed. Then we have leveling one. Okay. So already eleven now. Tomorrow I will continue. Okay. So what you do? Just go to the videos or PPTs. Just what you do? Go to the plane table. Keep your uh, syllabus part open. And what you do? Just see what is plane table. Since we have a number of videos. Okay. Just see the what is plane table. Try to understand different parts components. So you can see actually, okay. and uh, if you're interested, you can uh, watch the different types of methods. Okay. Just type the method of plane table survey for uh, plane. Sorry, different me methods for plane table survey. You will get different methods. One also I will share the PPT also. Only the thing is that we have left with. Uh, Two point problem and three point problem. Okay. So do one thing. Comment your role numbers. We can view the class. Okay.